Hello! Today we're going to learn how to back up files from your Google Drive to Dropbox. There are a number of different reasons you might want to do this, and almost as many ways. My favorite way is to create a synced folder between Drive and Dropbox. That way I can put anything that I want moved to Dropbox into my Drive folder that I have specified for that purpose. To do that, I'm going to go over to the Chrome Web Store and search for Sync Google Drive. I'm going to install the extension and then open it up. You will have to provide several authorizations over the course of using this extension, as you'll have to give it permission to access your Drive and Dropbox accounts. From here, I'm going to select Sync to Cloud Accounts. However, I'm going to then click on this button to make it a one-way sync. You have the option, of course, to sync two ways, but I prefer to only reflect changes I make in my Drive folder in Dropbox, rather than having a two-way street. However, this is of course completely up to you. As you can see, you can use this service to sync a variety of other cloud services. But today, I'm going to start by dragging my Drive icon into the first box. After giving permission, I'm going to choose to create a new folder in Drive for the purposes of this sync. I will name the folder and then create it. Next I'll add Dropbox to the second portion of the sync. I'm also going to create a new folder within Dropbox for this, but you can use existing folders or drop files into the root Dropbox directory. Once you've done that, you can click on Start Sync. Now let's go back over to our Google Drive. As you can see, the folder I requested has been created here. So now I'm going to drag a file from elsewhere in my drive into my folder. Then I'm going to switch over to my Dropbox account, and just like that, the file's also present in Dropbox. This is by far the easiest, most integrated way to move files back and forth between Drive and Dropbox. And as you saw earlier, it offers a lot of customization to make the tool fit your particular purposes. Hopefully you found this helpful. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching, and have a great day!